44 nations on our launch vehicles. This year, we docked two satellites in space, a major step forward. Friends, India's space journey is not about racing others. It is about reaching higher together. Together, we share a common goal to explore space for the good of humanity. We launch a satellite for the South Asian nations. Now, the G20 satellite mission announced during our presidency will be a gift to the global South. We continue to march ahead with renewed confidence, pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration. Our first human space flight mission, Gaganyaan, highlights our nation's rising aspirations. In coming weeks, an Indian astronaut will travel to space as part of a joint ISRO-NASA mission to the International Space Station. By 2035, the Bharatiya Antrik Station will open new frontiers in research and global cooperation. By 2040, an Indian footprints will be on the moon. Mars and Venus are also on our radar. Friends, for India, space is about exploration as well as about empowerment. It empowers governance, enhances livelihoods, and inspires generations. From fishermen alerts to Gati Shakti platform, from railway safety to weather forecasting, our satellites look out for the welfare of every Indian. We have opened our space sector to startups, entrepreneurs, and young minds. Today, India has over 250 space startups. They are contributing to cutting edge advancement in satellite technology. Propulsion systems, imaging, and much more. And you know, it is even more inspiring that many of our missions are being led by women scientists. Friends, India's space vision is grounded in the ancient wisdom of Vasudhev Kutumkam. That is, the world is one family. We strive not just for our own growth, but to enrich global knowledge, address common challenges, and inspire future generations. India stands for dreaming together, building together, and reaching for the stars together. Let us together write a new chapter in space exploration guided by science and shared dreams for a better tomorrow. I wish you all a very pleasant and productive stay in India. Thank you. So, Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi Global Conference on Space Exploration ko sambodhit kar rahe the. Unhone kaha ki antariksh ke shetra mein nai tarah se anveshan karne ki zarurat hai. Sabko saath lekar chalne ki zarurat hai. Unhone Bharat ki antariksh uplabdiyon ko to ginaaye ginaaye. Lekin saath hi kaha ki Bharat jo hai kisi race mein nahi hai. astronauts and friends from across the globe. Namaskar. 
it is a great pleasure to connect with all of you at the global space exploration conference 2025 space is not just a destination it is a declaration of curiosity courage and collective progress india's space journey reflects this spirit from launching a small rocket in 1963 to becoming the first nation to land near the south pole of moon our journey has been remarkable our rockets carry more than payloads they carry the dreams of 1.4 billion indians india's achievements are significant scientific milestones beyond that they are proof that the human spirit can defy gravity india made history by reaching mars on its first attempt in 2014 chandrayaan 1 helped discover water on the moon chandrayaan 2 gave us the highest resolution images of the moon chandrayaan 3 increased our understanding of the lunar south pole we built cryogenic engines in a record time we launch 100 satellites in a single mission we have launch over 400 satellites for 34 nations on our launch vehicles this year we docked two satellites in space a major step forward friends india's space journey is not about racing others it is about reaching higher together together we share a common goal to explore space for the good of humanity doing our presidency will be a gift to the global south we continue to march ahead with renewed confidence pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration our first human space flight mission gaganyaan highlights our nation's rising aspirations in coming weeks an indian astronaut will travel 